Jadi kawan-kawan yang beli kereta Peugeot jangan panik. Ha, jangan panik. Ha, saya bagi tahu. Walaupun Nazza nak jual Peugeot, walaupun Peugeot dah dijual, katakan orang yang ambil alih jangan akan akan continue dengan uh, dia punya waranti sebab jangan takut. Ha, sebab kalau dia nak buat bisnes kereta sebenarnya bisnes kereta paling paling untung adalah servis. Ha. So dia akan jaga anda, jangan takut. So for friends who have uh, Peugeot, do not be alarmed that the NASA Group is intending to sell off the Peugeot brand and the Kia brand in Malaysia. Even though, even though they sell off the, the Peugeot brand or the Kia brand, do not worry if you own a Kia or Peugeot car because in business the most profitable part of a car business is the servicing so therefore be assured that the new buyers or the potential buyers will always keep you keep you informed and they will take care of you because the servicing is the most profitable part so not to worry yeah There are also news that the Suzuki brand is coming back into Malaysia. So ada ada berita bahawa Suzuki, jenama Suzuki akan kembali ke Malaysia. Tapi bawah siapa saya dah lupa dah. I forgotten uh, who who will actually take over the brand name Suzuki in Malaysia. But is is definitely coming back. So for those of you who are Suzuki Swift, Suzuki Jimny, fan of Suzuki Swift and Jimny, jeng jeng. There are some uh, Jimnys being sold in the Recon market, eh? all the Recon cars. I think it's at 120 or 130,000. But for Jimny, it's a bit expensive. Lah. Ada, ada Suzuki Jimny, eh? Jeep yang kecil tu, macam uh, Mercedes G-Class punya. Ada jual dah dekat uh, kereta-kereta Recon lah. Ada ada dijual tapi mahal lah. Kalau tak salah 120 ke 130 ribu. Ha. So peminat Suzuki Jimny itu semua ha. sediakan duit simpan banyak-banyak. Nanti bila Suzuki masuk dia mesti akan jual model itu. Sebab sekarang SUV yang yang apa ni yang popular akan dia nak jual uh, Suzuki Swift pun dia mesti akan jual kereta-kereta uh, sedan macam tak tahu Kizahi ada lagi ke tidak I'm not sure whether the Kizahi model is still around but that was a very nice cute car lah Suzuki Kizahi uh, apa Suzuki lagi ada hey, lampu dah buat klik baik aku berhenti ok red light don't play play police everywhere motor-motor eh kalau bawa kereta kat Aikro ni kena berhati-hati eh banyak motor-motor sebab sini ada kilang besar banyak-banyak kilang nah, itu ada satu kemalangan dekat beli katil eh melibatkan motor dengan kereta tu so, jaga-jaga lah hati-hati naik motor baik naik motor ataupun naik kereta perhatikan mata buka dengan besar jangan lalai those of you who are driving on this road, please be extra careful. There are a lot of motorcyclists as there are many factories here. So do be very very attentive, alert and be on your toes all the time. Yeah, also be informed that 
uh, the, some of the roads are actually closed uh, towards the factory area on the right, Icro factory area. Only this, only this entrance is open. Harap maklum eh, ada jalan ditutup dah. Jadi hanya jalan masuk ke kilang sebelah kanan ni, di traffic light ni boleh digunakan. Saya rasa di depan, di depan sudah ditutup untuk kerja, kerja baik pulih. Ui, ada eco shop dekat sini boy. Dekat dalam. Kedai eco. Dalam mana? Orang yang tinggal kat Aikro, eco shop kat dalam. Mungkin dekat kedai lah, dekat kedai dalam tu lah. Sebelah mamak lah. Oh, dia buka sini bagus ni. Eh? Eco shop eh, my favorite shop. RM2.10 apa-apa pun ada. Ha, so jalan jalan masuk ke kilang di sebelah kanan sini ditutup kalau tak salah. Mungkin mulai minggu depan, bukan bukan sekarang, mulai minggu minggu depan. Saya tengok kan. Dah tutup ke belum? Sebab itu saya nampak pengumuman di Facebook eh oleh MPHTJ Majlis Perbandaran Hang Tuah Jaya The other day I saw the notification on uh, Facebook That this road may be closed uh, Starting next week, not now, starting next week So it's still open But if you are coming here next week, do take note That the road is closed for some upgrading or something like that Okay, pada yang belum pergi ke, belum pernah pergi ke Honda saya pun tak tahu mana jalan paling paling terdekat Lantak je lah Lantam je lah Ikut jalan lama Jalan baru saya tak begitu Begitu fasih ha, Jalan Aikro lama kita ikut Okay, we're gonna go through the old road Because I'm not very familiar with the new ones So, we're gonna go far a bit That's very bad. Ah, boleh, boleh. MITC boleh. So we're gonna turn right to MITC. Kita akan belok kanan ke MITC. Okay, Padana V6. Ini adalah Padana V6 generasi kedua. Kalau tengok warna dia, anda boleh tahu dia generasi kedua. Generasi pertama, warna dia adalah emas kuning. Ini generasi kedua, emas hijau. Okay, this is the second generation Padana V6. Very, very smooth uh, V6 engine but I think this car is in bad shape. You can see the smoke coming out. Okay, engine V6 dia memang bagus dari Mitsubishi Tapi dia punya asap Sekarang kereta depan ni asap dia habis Kereta dah hancur dah Tunggu masa je lah Tapi dia kereta yang bagus eh Engine V6 dia memang Memang lancar Top speed kalau tak salah saya 205 ataupun 210 ha, Ini ada orang pernah test kat highway ni The top speed of this car in Malaysian high, uh, highways uh, is I think 210 Somebody tested it I don't remember who So the Padana which was once a very popular car is now not so It's now an Accord Dana Not a Padana but an Accord Dana Okay let me see don't get lost Saya pun dah nak hilang ni Mana saya ni Jangan salah jalan pula
tak banyak nampak kita Perdana ataupun Ekor Dana Ekor Dana eh Di on the road Kalau betul-betul gili nak bawa Pesaing untuk Kelas uh, segmen D eh Sedan segmen D Kalau dia masukkan gili preface tu Hui yo Memang mengancam lah If Gili were to intend to bring in Or rather Proton Malaysia were to intend to Compete in the D segment sedan They will probably bring in the Gili preface Or rather Pro Proton X Whatever 110 <laughs> X80 That would be a very very good rival towards uh, the Honda Accord, the Camrys, the oh, no more, no more Tiana. So there's only two, the Honda Accord and the Camry. So let me find my way first. I can't remember how to get to the Honda. Yeah, for your information, now that we are driving here There used to be a Lexus Somewhere in Auto City However, I think the Lexus will soon be Gone, be replaced by Toyota Yeah, For the kawan-kawan yang uh, Tahu area ni Lexus kan, ada like, showroom Lexus kat sini uh, Dengar berita Lexus dah Akan diganti oleh Toyota ya, yeah? Toyota so itu itu saja update saya kita dah sampai dah showroom Lexus tengok ada lagi tak ada lagi tak papan tanda Lexus ni ok ini showroom dia Lexus masih ada Masih ada Ah, Tapi diganti oleh Toyota lah betul lah Dia kata kini dibuka Toyota Melaka So pada kawan-kawan yang nak Yang tinggal kat Aikro nak beli Toyota Tak payah pergi jauh-jauh Sini ada satu Okay for guys who stays in uh, Aikro Want to buy Toyota Come here You don't have to go downtown that's a good news. Yeah, you turn left here. Eh? Kita masuk kiri sini. Oh, dua-dua adalah Lexus dan Toyota ada. Dia tak dia tak keluarkan uh, signboard Lexus pun. Maknanya dia akan jual dua-dua lah. Sebab kalau dia jual Lexus saja dia tak boleh untung, tak boleh untung dia tak boleh hidup. Ha. Uh -huh. Masuk sini Okay, ini GDX Okay, kawan-kawan yang tak pernah lalu sini Ini adalah Area Auto City Ataupun area Perindustrian Taman Tasik ha, Saya pun agak-agak Saya pun dah lupa dah Kiri ke kanan ke terus ke Terus lah Bagus Ok kita dah sampai Honda di depan So jangan lupa Tonton video Honda CRV kami eh Lepas malam ni Kita akan upload lah Lepas video ni anda akan nampak video Honda Ok Honda di depan So jumpa lagi Jangan lupa subscribe eh 
Okay guys, we have arrived at Honda. So don't forget to watch our new CRV video. Later tonight, we will update and upload. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.